Welcome back to the Toppy Blues, your source for all things Everton. My name is Connor Williams, joined by Owen Parks, and this is the player focus on Vitaly Mikolenko. Um, first things first, Owen, how, do you, uh, how have you been finding Vitaly Mikolenko so far uh, the start of the season? I think he's been excellent. I noticed after the um, the Bournemouth game that he, well, I thought, you know what, he's done really well this season in hindsight. And then he's got even better since, I think. The coaching staff have done really good work with him and I think what they've done is limited his weaknesses and entrenches in that is um then is um strength, sorry. And I think that kind of combination has seen him do really well. I don't think he he's as I think he's better in possession now. I think he's better it's better one v one. I think he's he starts getting in the opposition box. I think I think they do deep. He and um the coach and stuff have done really good work and I'm I'm really, really glad it's working for him because I I've always wanted to root for him, you know. Um but he um he's given me some um some um um he's justifying my um my support for him now and I think that's I think I think it takes a lot of pressure off the recruitment team as well, having to find a start and left back, which was something we were talking about last season. I don't think that's as necessary now, given how well he's playing and long may continue that that place in the team is totally nailed down now. Yeah, I like yeah. Said, he's he's a hard working lad as well, and um, so it's nice to see him do well. I was happy to see him do well. Um I think, like you said, his his strengths are obvious and his weaknesses are, I'd say, as as obvious. Although I do, I'm starting to. You can start to see where they're trying to um improve that. And um, so, like for instance, he's he's a lot. I think he's a lot better as a defensive um player than he is going forward. He's a bit more of a fullback than a wing back. Um, but he is starting to slowly but surely, like you said, venture further up the field. Uh, the last couple of games he's put. I know he struggled for a bit. Um, it was either is it the start or the midway between now it's the start and now, he struggled a little bit, didn't he? I remember the Arsenal game. Um, he wasn't a very popular lad at Goodison Park. Uh, a couple of shouts. Um, just a couple of shouts I could hear about him that weren't too good. Um, but he seems to be improving all of a sudden. Um, in terms of, do you think that's sort of the like? Do you think that's more? He's improving going forward. Um, because defensively he's always been quite solid. I think that I think um, I, I think I heard today that actually Ian Wold has done a lot of work with Vitaly Mikolenko, and it's not as much on the defensive side because they've always been pretty confident in his defensive abilities. I think naturally mm-hmm. when Sean Dyche come in, it made it a lot easier for um, Michalenko because he's been able to sit a bit deeper, a bit narrower. And, um, yeah, that, that automatically made his game easier. What they've been focusing on is how they can get more out of him going forward because they are conscious that we don't have a great deal going forward if it isn't from the full-back area, sorry, if it isn't worked on with Michalenko. And I think I think he helps McNeil as well. Michel, sorry, McNeil. Had a really good relationship with Charlie Taylor at Burnley, and it went because Charlie Taylor was a no squash booker and fullback. Is because he took um a man away some time for him to be able to do what he does, and Michalenko has been doing that lately as well. And I think McNeil's slowly getting sharper and sharper, and you'll see better performances from him as well. I just think the whole team fits together at the moment really well, and I think Michalenko playing well as solved a lot of that because he's a national fit for left back play sorry um young or Godfrey a left back Dyche doesn't really want to have a right foot or a left back he would rather have a left foot or a left back and so Michalenko playing well has made that job easier for him I think Ruben Benagre last season I didn't see him play so I wouldn't I would really know what he would have offered but I think Michelenko playing that role has has done other everyone a lot of favours, and for us not to go out and buy another position with such the limitations in our finances. Yeah, yeah. It's all about um 
now he's performing, as you say, like we said last year, we were on about fullback. Um, and he almost just took that pressure off now. I mean, we could possibly, if the price was right, possibly do we get another one in just because I don't, I don't know if the club will have the intention of extending Ashley Young's contract um, past the end of the season. So it's still a next season sort of worry going in with one fullback uh, at left back. And to be fair, we could probably do have a replace, you know, a backup at right back as well. Cause James Coleman's reaching 36, 37. Um, but for now he's, he's impressed. Um, one of the things I've noticed is as well, a uh, change of runs. Um, not only is he like overlapping when he needs to be, but the last couple of games I've noticed he runs um inwards and underlaps quite a bit, which just offers a little bit more dynamic. Um, I'm not going to go and call him an inverted fullback because he's not quite that, but he does change his run depending on where the patterns of play are. Yeah, you're not going to see inverted fullbacks. I don't think. <laughs> Thank God for that. Um, but no, I think I think I think what he does is what I talked about before. He just takes. A man away, because the the start defenders are starting to worry about him now because he scored some goals. So I think that that word gets around, and you'll see why we have to start picking him up. So we'll benefit McNeil as well, and I think he's getting in the box. I think they've done really good work with him. Now. Both of credit to him for taking it on board. I think he he is his game has really come on in that in that especially this season, but since, since January overall, I think he has got better. With every possible. Yeah. Um. So obviously, you know, I think we've been. I think it's fair to say we've been spoiled. Uh. In the past, with left backs, Luca Dean, and then you know Leighton Baines, who it holds the sort of moniker, uh, for one of the best left backs we've had, certainly in, well in my time anyway. Um. But for Mikalenko, two goals. Uh. With his header and his right foot, his right footed one was a very good goal on his weaker foot. Um. It's just nice to see him add that to his game, isn't it? I'm hoping. We'll see a little bit more of it, but um, I mean, I'm like I said, it's not to the extent of um, I feel like you're almost if I say I'd like to see more of it, people assume you'd like to see him get the numbers that Baines did, which is just a, an unfair real realization. Um, but yeah, what are your thoughts on him getting his goals, being a more attacking fullback when needed? Yeah, I think, like I said, I think Ian Moan has done a lot of work with him on that. I think it is kind of needed because I think he don't actually young very much. He does his job very well from that right back position. But I think him going forward is not been there. He's not really been on the same wavelength with Harrison as McNeil has been with Michalenko. So, no, yeah, I think it has been needed for us to have another way of attacking. But, yeah, I think, like I said, I'm just really pleased for him because he's obviously... um. Got through a lot of being um his homeland being um illegally invaded and I think um yeah I think he would have gone through a lot when he first came to Everton I think Putin's um invasion of Ukraine was a few months after so I think that would have played heavily on his mind and he had a manager then in Frank Lampard who didn't really really suit him in the same way as, as Sean Dyche would. So I think, yeah, I think, I think he's probably settled now. He's got a manager who backs him and a role he knows and, he, and he's got best and he's got confidence. And so, yeah, I think I think it's just settled down nicely for him. And yeah, good. I, I just hope he continues playing the same way as he has done because it saves us an issue. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, I think people need to remember the context, though. And he's only tw- he's still like only twenty four as well. So there's plenty, you know. He's not the finished article. There's still plenty of room for him to grow uh, as he grows. Hopefully, with us uh, for a, for a while longer. Yeah, I don't know how long left on his contract, but he certainly should be having a look at that if he continues these performances. There has only been um. A short period of time when he's getting these goals, so we have to caveat that. But I think signs are that for a while now it tended to be heading in the right direction, and I think it's helping others around him as well. Uh, yeah, I agree. Uh, uh, that is all we've got time for, though. Owen, thank you for joining me, mate. It's been a pleasure to speak to you. You too. Yeah.
Don't forget, guys, you can like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and comment down below your thoughts on Vitaly Mikolenko so far this season. Look forward to reading them, and I'll see you guys soon.